Russ is going to ask me if I'm okay, and I'm contemplating if I should admit to the mistake that I made last week and the one I made yesterday. Or if I should just pretend it was just another day. I'm not sure. I could act. I mean, I am actually good at that. <laughs> Who's Russ? Sorry. <laughs> We're not friends yet, you and I. I'm so over-familiar. He's my therapist and has been on and off for um, four years now. Therapy at first was hard for me. It was like some kind of torture. I hated sitting in that chair. Metaphorically, that chair was quite possibly the most uncomfortable chair I've ever sat on. It made my mind ache. Sometimes I wanted the floor to swallow me up, but the floor, that wasn't safe either. My feet didn't want to touch the floor. There wasn't one part of that chair. Of being on, sitting in that chair that made me feel comfortable. I feel like I'm lost. Like I'm lost at sea. I'm standing in the water, it's rising, but I can't swim. Well, actually I can swim. Look, I know I'm black in that, but I can swim, I swear. <laughs> I mean, I used to be able to swim, but I no longer trust myself. I no longer think that I can save me. I didn't even know that I needed to be saved from me. I didn't know there was a problem. I learned there's a problem. I'm the problem. Well, no, I'm not a problem, per se. I'm just saying there's a problem in it. It's like I got to a certain age and I just forgot how to do it. And the water that surrounded me at the time, it injected fear into me and I don't know how to save me. I can't, I don't have the ability. I need someone to help me. I need to relearn, I need someone to teach me, save me, I need someone to save me. But I'm standing. I'm standing still.